Hi, my name is Rose Castillo with Crafty Idols. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and today I wanted to show you how I made this cute pineapple card and how I got this two-toned look on my pineapple. And it is really simple, and so I just wanted to show you that. I'm going to be using the pineapple stamp, and then I did use one little word out of Thoughtful Banners, and it's just the little birthday. And that's right there. And so you could probably take birthday from one of your other stamps if you don't have that one. And then I'm using this um, splotchy background that is from You've Got This. And this is just one of the stamps out of the set. And so let's get to work. All right, let me put that aside. And I'm going to get my card base. Oops, moved everything. Let's put that over there. I'm going to fold my card base in half and use my bone folder to do that, give it a nice crisp so it lays flat. And then I'm going to actually ink up the background in mint macaroon. So I'm just going to ink that up. And I'm actually going to stamp off one time. And then I just put that right in the middle. And that's done. That's super simple. And then I am going to take my pineapple stamp. And I have it mounted on my... I think this is the eye block. Yeah, it's the eye block. And... I am going to be using Dapper Denim, Watermelon Wonder, Peekaboo Peach, and Mint Macaroon. So I'm actually going to ink up with my Peekaboo Peach first right down here on the bottom. And I got a little bit of ink up there. And yesterday I was talking about this with some of the ladies that took my pineapple class. I was like, I'm kind of a lazy stamper, I realize. Um, instead of getting something to clean that off, I just used my finger. And so, yeah, I always end up with inky fingers. So I say, if you're not all inky, then you're not having fun when you're stamping. <laughs> That's my excuse for, uh, getting ink all over myself, I guess. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab a couple of sponges. And I have those. I use... Uh, just some clothespins and I cut up my sponge into pieces and then I use it like this and um, just gives me a handle and then I use washi tape to cover my little sticks there it just makes them fun <laughs> all right so I'm just picking up some ink on my sponge and I'm just gonna go around the edges right here of my pineapple And then I'm going to do the same thing in Dapper Denim. And these colors are a stark contrast of each other if you were to stamp them. Um, just, you know, regular force of ink. But they just blend so well together with this technique. And let me take my piece of cardstock that I'm going to be using to stamp. And... Push that down. Leave that there for a second while I close this. Because I'm always the one that ends up sticking my hand in stuff if I leave it open. So I have to make sure and close them. And you see that is so pretty. It'll dry a little bit lighter, as you can tell, like right there. But it is so pretty. Now, this doesn't have a die, so unfortunately if I want to pop it up, and I do, I have to fussy cut it. And I'm pretty sure anybody that's following me on YouTube is pretty convinced that I like to fussy cut. Because I do it a lot. <laughs> and I guess I never realized how much I actually do it. But I like to pop things up. So if there's no dies, then I have no other choice but to cut. So this is what I'm doing and this one, it's a big image, and with these little 
leaves. It does take a little bit of time, but it's not like super intricate cutting. So that's the benefit, I guess. <laughs> I'm trying to convince you that fussy cutting is still amazing. And I know, you know, so many dies are match stamp sets now or punches, and that is amazing and it does save a lot of time. But when you don't have those things, you have no other choice if you want dimension. And I guess I just, I don't mind it. If I want something popped up, I am going to do it. So it's not that big a deal to me. Anyway, almost done. It's just these little ins and outs of this pineapple leaf. And just a couple more to do. Oops, I cut a little too far out. I just get rid of the little excess as I go along so that it's not in my way. And that just helps. And that is all done. Okay, this is a super quick card too, so it doesn't take a lot of time. I am going to take some stamp and dimensionals and I'm going to put a few on here. Probably about three. And then my pineapple's ready. I do need to stamp my little birthday and I'm going to use Peekaboo Peach for that. And great thing about photopolymer is you can see where you're stamping and hopefully I don't stick my head in there because I'm trying to get it straight but sometimes when your head can't be right over that's a little hard. And then I took a piece of dapper denim and I used the happy from the hello youth thin lits and I went ahead and ran that through already and I but I just wanted to show you those okay I'm just gonna put a small piece of the edge of a dimensional right on the back of this birthday to pop it up so I've already done that and picked up some lint on the way <laughs> and then this is my happy again with the hello youth thin lits this is already popped up. The only thing that I have left to do is I'm going to grab, oops, I just dropped my gold thread, but I'm actually going to use the silver this time. It was right above where my camera is, so I was reaching up. Oops. I'm just going to get a few whirls of that. And then I'm going to use my snail for some adhesive right in the center and I probably took more than I needed but oh well let's make sure it's all stuck in there and I don't like it when the little tail is hanging out from the end so let's make sure that gets stuck in the middle okay so that's that now I just have to pop my pineapple right in the middle and there you go. I'm going to put my little birthday down here. And the last thing to do is actually use my fine tip glue pen. And I am going to just do some little drops of adhesive. And I'm not going to do the ends because those actually stick off the end, the end of my pineapple. So I'm just gonna run a little bit of glue right along here. Now this does take a little bit longer to dry so when you put it down you can't instantly pick up your card otherwise it'll fall off. So let's do this here and stick it down. And you'll just need to let that dry for a minute or so and there is your card. Now that is a quick and simple card and I just think it's so pretty and I love the colors because they're just not traditional, um, you know, yellow and green, but they're just fun and they're pretty and I love blue and oranges together. So anyway, I hope that you like this card. If there's anything that you would like to order that I use today, you can visit my website at www.rosecastillo.stampinup.net and you can um, place an order 24 hours a day on my online store 
and I appreciate any business that you give me. If you have any questions, leave me a comment. I'd be happy to answer them. And make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel so you can continue to see videos from me. Thank you and have a great day. Bye-bye.